Hey, good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you're having a good Wednesday evening. I am actually doing a vlog. For those of you who are hopping on, never seen this, my name is Pastor Sean. I'm the senior pastor of Lord's House and Altar in Thornton, Colorado, because um, I know some people are going to be seeing this out of state. Um, this is just an introduction vlog. Why we are doing this, what is going on, um, what all this is about. So the main thing that we're trying to do Sean. here is we are trying to build something more uh, we were doing a Wednesday night Bible study that Wednesday night Bible study just wasn't connecting especially over Facebook live uh, you know these are designed and intended Bible studies are designed and intended to be face to face provide interaction fellowship but iron sharpen iron uh, that kind of mentality so after some discussion and some advisors giving me their input i made the decision after a lot of prayer and seeing god's face we'll turn this into vlogs we will put this on a youtube channel for the church uh, this there and so if you're interested you can always find these again but the big reason we're doing this is to break down the sermon even more so this sunday we're going to begin looking at jesus and looking at him in a way that is different I firmly believe when we come to the gospel, many people carry this stereotype about who Jesus is. A lot of that has to do with the movies. Unfortunately, um, we've bought into this blue-eyed, blonde-haired, frail persona of Jesus. And, uh, I mean, come on. He was a carpenter. There's all kinds of stuff. We'll get into that. But the idea is he was a radical. Uh, he wasn't didn't come to earth and say follow me i'm holy he came in and challenged the status quo challenged the religious establishments that were already in place so the big reason that i want to do this is that uh, this sermon study is i want to introduce people to the jesus of the gospels the bible is there the man who challenged the established laws that were there I firmly believe that there's more there. To the, so on Sunday, we'll do a sermon. We're going to do basic, 101. Those of you who've been to college, you know how that goes. You get you know, English 101, math 101, whatever the course is. You know, psychology 101, philosophy 101. You get a basic foundation of, of what's going on. It's an overview and introductory material so that's what the sermons will be geared to the idea that everybody needs to learn have that solid foundation in order to move forward so we're going to plant the seeds that way so then these vlogs will dive further and further into the sermons uh, we'll break down the sermons we'll break down scripture we'll break down the history behind it and all that and make it so those who are interested can attend, those who aren't, you know, I get it. You, you just want the foundation, and I got it. You're not at that point yet, and that's what I'm trying to get to. See, as Christians, we're all at different levels. Okay, some are brand new. Just accepted Jesus as their Savior, and, you know, as, as Peter says, they're still on milk. They're not ready for the meat and potatoes yet. Where some Christians have been walking faithfully with God for years and they want that meat and potatoes. So we're trying to hit both of them. Unfortunately, I would love to do that with a Sunday school and we just haven't gotten to that point yet where we are uh, ready for a Sunday school. We'll get there. I know God's going to provide that opportunity. But we're going to do this through the vlogs. So I want to, this is just going to be a short introductory vlog. Nothing in depth i don't i just want to introduce you introduce you to the church you know some of you may be finding this for the first time so let me put it this simply this church was established on the premise that god's truth is god's truth it reigns supreme god reigns supreme god's truth has the ability to change and save lives it can impact the world if we let it you'll see on our facebook page and our website that's currently being built, the idea that this church is designed around the idea of finding your purpose and potential in God. That ranges everything from finding your potential and purpose of being saved, 
and coming to know that saving relationship with him to simply dive in further seeking his face and find out where he wants you to serve where he wants you to work how he wants you to serve this church was established with the premise that it's not about education it's not about who you are not about how much money you have not about what kind of influence you have but it's about us as people children of God coming together as a church because you see I spent 10 years in the army Six and a half years on active duty as a chaplain assistant, serving God and soldiers. I then went and commissioned to become a chaplain in the Army. Spent three and a half years doing that. Coming out, started applying to churches. And every time I turned around, what did I hear? Oh, sorry, you're not the right denomination. Oh, sorry, you don't have the right practical pastoral experience, even though my Army experience says otherwise. See, we get into these stereotypes. We get into these ideas of what is going on that we look for what man looks for. That is not what this church is about. This church is about the idea that God looks at the heart. See, growing up in the church, studying, going to college, I heard this story. I like sharing it. And I told myself one day I would want a church to be this way. I know a youth pastor had a heart and passion for teenagers, wanted to teach them and bring them to Christ. And in this, he would keep searching in how he could serve in that capacity. But one day a church, a fairly big church, decided to take a chance on him. No formal education, no master's degree, no practical pastoral experience, nothing but a heart and a passion for God and to serve teenagers. That's all it took. Youth group skyrocketed, blossomed. See, it's about the heart. 1 Samuel 17. I'm reminded of this story to add to this. And this is where this church is coming from. Saul was appointed king. And God told him, I want all the Amalekites annihilated. Every single last one killed. I want all their livestock destroyed. Their house is gone. I want no remnants. I want nothing left to remind people the Amalekites existed. So Saul went to war with them. One. And Samuel went to visit. By order of God. We heard the lowing of sheep and cattle. Samuel said, what's up? Why are you doing this? Saul sat there and said, well, we kept the best livestock so that we can make the best sacrifices to God. He kept the king alive as well. Samuel told Saul, God doesn't want sacrifices. He wants a heart that is faithfully worshiping him passionately seeks after him see that's what this is about this chart church is about people willing to passionately seek after God they're willing to worship him with all their heart mind and soul I started this church with the premise of that with the idea the church can still make a difference. As long as people have a heart that passionately seek after Him. Yes, yeah, some of this start in this church came out of the idea that I couldn't get a job as a pastor. But you know what? After several denials, I helped the church look into what it is to be a church and review a lot of their documents and in the course of that God said I helped you develop this because I helped you develop this I want you to start this the teachings you're going to get come from scripture pure plain and simple it is God's truth 
impacting, molding, shaping lives so that each of you can find your potential and your purpose in Christ. Each of us is uniquely made for something. Teaching God's truth can bring you to that. This church is built on the premise of impacting the community. Not just checking the blocks and saying, oh yeah, we do this and we do that. Everything has a purpose. Hence why we're revamping this Wednesday night idea. It said doing a Bible study that it's hard to get comments across and ask questions and interact with people. We make this a vlog. We're... I'll come on here, break the sermon down further. Really get the meat and potatoes what's going on. Give you a hint, an idea of what we're going to do. This Sunday I'm going to go start right at the beginning with Jesus and his genealogies. Yeah, snooze fest, I get it. Nobody likes the genealogies, but there's a lot there. We'll go basic, skim the surface. Not... A lot of in-depth, but a lot of application. A lot of truth in there. But then next Wednesday, when I post this again, we're going to be going into those deeper. Because trust me, there's a lot there. Especially in Matthew. Matthew's genealogy. So I encourage you to read Matthew 1, Luke 3. They give the genealogy so you have an idea where we're coming from what we're going to be diving into because me personally yes I'm up here I'm preaching and I'm on this vlog teaching but it's a journey we all go through that we dancing with God diving into his word with the open hearts minds and ears I invite you on this journey if you have comments put it on here you know it's going to be on YouTube and you can put comments on there as well I look forward to uh, interacting and dancing with God with you yeah this is going to be short we're going to go about maybe 30 20 30 minutes with the next ones but I just wanted to introduce who I am what this church is about where we're going with this so God gave me a vision where we're going that vision, God's going to make real. So I invite you to join us on this journey. We have a physical church. You like the vlogs? Come join us. Let us not forsake the fellowship with others. For it strengthens us up. May God bless you the rest of this week. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday and next Wednesday. God bless.